Hi, I'm Luke. Today on Out of Darts, I wanted to talk more about the Worker Dominator. Now, I got this blaster just a few days ago, so I haven't had a lot of time to play it. I do have a previous video if you haven't seen that. My first impressions are down below. Uh, today, what I wanted to mainly do is just talk about the build process, and I also wanted to do a dart test. Uh, so when we do a dart test, I'm going to fire a full mag. That's 40 rounds, not 44, not 46. I think it's fair to at least load it to the rated capacity on the magazine. But we're going to do brand new Elite darts, some brand new AccuFakes, brand new or at least reasonably new uh, uh, waffle heads, and then a mismatch uh, smattering of darts from my dart bin. You can see this one's actually a little crooked, a little squished and we're gonna grab 40 of those and see how that goes through. Now I know other reviewers have said they've had some feed problems, but I've actually had pretty good luck so far, at least with standard elites, which is the only thing I've tested uh, extensively, about 10, 12 mags now without a jam. Now, as far as the build process itself, I did do exactly the wiring that they recommend and show on the diagram, and I have been noticing some problems. Uh, this return switch here uh, is not functioning properly. It, it works, but it's returning too hard and the bounce back is basically creating an infinite loop. So while the blaster is working full auto, you can't stop firing after you stop, uh, start, at least not continuously. Now I don't know if that's something, I am missing a board component that was on the wiring diagram, which is not here, doesn't describe what it is, so I have no idea as to what the issue was there. But for now it's working, I may have to change up the wiring and figure out what's going there. But essentially what's happening is every time the uh, pusher gets into the backmost position, it hits the switch, and then uh, that that is supposed to stop the uh, cycle. But what's happening is it's um, continuing the cycle too long and it's not hitting that switch long enough or there's too much momentum on the motor. I'm not sure what the case is. Uh, as I said, I've got everything wired almost identically, or completely identically to their diagram that is for single flywheel setup. Now these uh, two dials obviously can control the rate of fire, which I think is fantastic. The other one controls the spin rate on your flywheels, which personally I don't think is a real useful feature. It's neat to be able to dial in, but this seems kind of uh, like an inefficient way to do it. And I also have a little doubts as far as what this is rated for. There's no documentation on it, so we'll see how it lasts. But I figured I'd do everything the way they're recommending. One note is despite owning dozens of LiPo batteries, I don't have a single one that fits in this battery compartment, not even with the expanded door. So may have to do some modification there or just look at a different battery pack. I also wanted to mention that I am just really impressed with the build quality on this blaster. Plastic is a very um, nice quality and has a great feel to it. Nice alternating textures uh, in the molds, like on the grip here and uh, on the uh, magazine as well, and I think it's just a really cool looking blaster too. Uh, I have a lot of plans, but uh, anyway, let's get right to it. This is a 40 round mag of uh, standard Elite darts. They are virtually brand new. And we're gonna go full auto, full speed. So that was Elite darts, successful. All right, so this is 40 AccuFakes. Also successful, 40 AccuFakes, seem just fine. These are 40 Waffles, uh, might be a few Connects darts in there too, but similar style anyway with a nice square head. If anything causes problems, I think it'll be this. There was one tiny pause in there, but that to me worked just fine. So this is a smattering of every kind of dart, it is just a pile of garbage. I even folded a few of these to make them uh, bad darts as if they'd been stepped on. Now they don't have the dirt and dust and grime that a normal dart on the field might have, so that's one part we're not testing here. But let's see what happens. If anything fails, it'll be this. And right there we've got a we've got a fail. So I'm just gonna try clear it. Oh, what has happened? Looking down the barrel, right? So, I can't tell what's going on, but my mag is totally jammed. Oh, got it out. I think I just had to 
Okay, it was probably pulling on the follower, so let's just make sure the blaster's okay first. Yeah, we're good there. I'm just gonna reinsert this and see what happens. All right, so we're missing again. And I think the one at fault this time is a waffle tip. All right, that's fault number three. And it's an AccuFake in there, and it looks like it's just getting a little difficult with the multi-types of darts in here for it to leave the cage. And I can see what's happening is that uh, the dart's not getting centered enough. So this back dart was too far to uh, one direction over here, and the pusher was just going right by it. So let's keep going here. This is fault maybe four. So I'm trying the easiest reset, which is just a partial remove. Put it back in. There's some dart dust. All right, so right off the bat, so right off the bat, I think this is pretty indicative of uh, mixed and used darts and crushed darts being a bad solution for this blaster. However, anything new or in good condition and all the darts being the same has been really reliable. Uh, I wanna do one more test of just those same AccuFakes I already fired just to kind of prove that it did, it'll do more than one in a row after that massive failure. All right, so we're here one last time. This is the uh, same 40 darts again that I shot in the beginning, and let's just see after all that problem if we have the same uh, results. My theory is that as long as the darts are uniform and similar, I think you're gonna see the best feed rates because they're gonna consistently interact with each other. Not a skip beat there. I'm gonna give this a, an A minus. Uh, I think it's really, really impressive and it's going to be extremely popular. I think the uh, procedure for this is just going to be load up really good darts in here. Don't use really bad ba uh, ground darts and pick all darts of the same kind. And honestly, a lot of people that are really serious about nerf, they tend to do this at the games anyway, or at least they start the rounds with all perfect darts in their uh, magazines. I've certainly found that even the Worker 22s, which are the best feeding mags out there in my opinion, they, uh, well, all the Worker mags, but, but all the Worker mags, uh, even they can be fouled up by a, a bad dart. And that test I was doing is pretty, pretty heavy. I literally squished darts, uh, crushed darts, and then reformed them. So I wasn't expecting it to work. I don't think it would work very well in a regular magazine either. I can't wait to play test this. I don't know when we're gonna get our next game in here because it has started to rain, but thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this magazine. 40 round mag, first of its kind, super small. And what do you think of this blaster? I will be carrying all of this on the shop. I've seen enough already to know that I wanna order it. So hopefully I will have these in the future as well. But if you're in a hurry, you can get them on worker's site directly. Thanks for watching. Until next time, um, there's darts everywhere. I'm out of darts.